Welcome back, this is Mike from Digital Offensive. And today we're gonna to answer an important question for you. Is auto recon allowed on the OCP? I've done videos about auto recon in the past, uh, in my path to the OCP series, but this is still one of the number one questions I get. Is auto recon allowed on the OCP? Let's take a look and hopefully by the end of this video, you'll have your answer. This is gonna be a short video, quick introduction to the tool, and we're gonna get right into it now. So Auto Recon. You can download Auto Recon off of GitHub. Uh, if you go to github.com, Tiberius slash Auto Recon, I'll put the link down below. So you can go directly there. Auto Recon is a multi-threaded network reconnaissance tool which performs automated enumeration of services. What is allowed on the OCP? Enumeration, enumeration, enumeration you're allowed to automate your enumeration process. What are you not allowed to do? You're not allowed to use tools that will auto exploit vulnerabilities. Nessus, um, Core Impact, Cobalt Strike, not that you would use Cobalt Strike on this exam, uh, Metasploit tools, things like that are not allowed to be used on that exam because they automatically exploit the tool. They identify the vulnerability and then they exploit the vulnerability. All you're doing is pointing and clicking. The purpose of the exam is for you to enumerate, to identify, to understand the process, and for you to exploit the box, how the box needs to be exploited to gain the points. All this tool does is automates that process. Let's look at the source code of this tool real fast so you can see what it's doing. So, actually, we're not going to show you the source code because the source code is actually a lot of information in there. And that's not really that important. What's really important about the auto recon is the configuration file and the output files here. So let's take a look at the configuration files. If we do a CD into our config directory for auto recon. We're gonna see that we have three files in here. We have a global patterns, a port scan profile, and a service scan uh, profile. These are the two files here, the port scan and service scan that we're really interested in because we can basically modify these to modify our scans. So let's first take a look at the port scan one. So we look in the port scan file here. What we see is some syntax for the application, but down here is the most important part. We see the commands. So this is running the mmap command. And basically we have some of our variables in here with some other information that the application is using. Anything in these uh, parentheses like this, uh, these curly brackets is basically allowing us to, uh, or parts of the application. Basically, it's gonna take a variable from the application and insert that variable into that section and then basically use that variable as part of that command for mmap. So you can see we're running multiple mmap commands. We have versions all, we have OS scan. So basically guessing the OS, we have our top ports, top 20 ports. Um, we have versions all, we have our top UDP ports. So you can see all different types of MMAP scans running. So default MMAP quick scan, default MMAP full TCP, uh, MMAP top 20, MMAP quick, uh, top 20 UDP, and so on and so forth. Those are all our port scans that are gonna run as part of auto recon. Now, do we need to use auto recon? No, we can literally copy these commands, modify them back to the original syntax, and add the IP addresses we want to scan, and boom. We are now basically just manually doing the same thing that the auto recon tool is doing for you. The one benefit of this, it's doing it automatically for you in the background. What you should be doing while this tool is running is looking at other things. If you already have some enumeration done, go after that. If you're working on your buffer overflow, go after that. This tool is just basically taking common commands and automating the process through a Python script basically. So let's take a look at our services file. So if we look at our services file, you're gonna see all the type of service type scans it runs. We can see that it's using SMP walk, a built-in Kali tool uh, to basically do enumeration. Down here we see it's using MMAP. Uh, we have our TFTP scan using MMAP. Uh, VNC scan using MMAP. If we scroll up this way a little bit, you're gonna see some other great tools. We have our MMAP for SMTP enumeration. Uh, up here, we're using MMAP for our SMB scans. Uh, we're also using SMB map, which is another command built into Kali to do some enumeration around SMB map. Uh, we're using SMB client right here 
These are all commands you can manually run using the same exact syntax without using auto recon. So why do you use auto recon? It's going to save you time. Now, the one good thing I like about auto recon that I've seen in this newer version that I did not have when I took the exam is they now give you the ability to use Derby as part of the default enumeration process. Now, I don't rely solely on Derby, um, but I think it's a step in the right direction. Now, if you don't like Derby, you can modify this service file to add whatever tools you want in here that it can support. So if we scroll up here, let's actually just do a search for Nikto. Um, can, uh, let's see here. Pipe grep Nikto. Okay. Uh, that's not exactly what I'm gonna do. Let's do uh, Vion services slash Nikto. Okay. So if we come down here, we can see our web enumeration. Now, one of the things I mentioned in my last video around order recon was a lack of web enumeration. It does great identifying the server, identifying ports, grabbing some basic information using Nikto and curl and what image, things like that. But what I was missing in my first run with this tool is the, the enumeration you get from running commands like Derby and GoBuster and any other type of web-based uh, enumeration there. What I did notice in this new version of um, or recon is now the ability to have Derby in here. So you can see as part of the normal scanning process, we're gonna do some curl uh, commands, checking for robots, uh, grabbing the HTML, uh, HTML image. So basically grabbing the page, saving as an image. Uh, we're using the command what web to identify the web server. Uh, we're running Nick Doom. And now we're running Derby. Now, what else it does is it'll identify some additional manual commands that you should run, right? So it'll tell you, hey, by the way, you may want to run Dir search. Um, you may want to run Derby with these flags. Uh, you may want to come down here and run these GoBuster commands. So these are all manual commands that it'll suggest that you run. Now, if you want to modify this file, you can. And I'll go through that in another video, but you can basically add additional scans up here for your enumeration processes. And that'll be in a separate video on how to modify this script. But for this one, I just want to go through some basics of why is the order recon tool or if the order recon tool is allowed in the OCP exam. And let's take one other look at one other uh, output here. So let's do an LS here. Um, we're going to CD out this config file here and we're going to go into our results. So. I ran a test last night against my local host, right? I turned on uh, my Apache server and some other tools and basically ran the scan. So if we go into our scans, we're gonna see a lot of data here, right? So we have our commands, our full TCP, our quick TCP, our top UDP MMAP, and I killed the scan before it completed. Uh, otherwise you would see uh, output of all these other files here. And what you can tell here is when it outputs these files, you can see the format it's doing. So the scan directory, which is scan, the protocol here, full TCP and map, if that was the case, this one's for telnet, telnet, but I'm just giving you an idea and then basically the file name. So you know each of these are outputting the file into this directory here. Um, but what I wanted to show you in this directory here is if we count our commands log, these are all the commands it ran during that enumeration process last night when I ran against my local host. So if I ever need to know what I ran to do the enumeration for the exam in the real world for another box, I can come into this folder and basically have a audit log inside the commands.log file here. And I can see all the commands that were ran against this box. And I can either add this to my manual process moving forward. I can even copy and paste this into a shell script or I can just continue using order recon. All order recon does is automate the enumeration process for you. You can go in there and modify how you want. I used the base configuration. I think it worked fine for what I did. Um, now that I gave you all these pros about Autorecon, let me give you some negatives I had with Autorecon. One is once Autorecon is done running, your terminal screen is kind of messed up. You need to type in reset on your terminal screen before you can type anything else on your terminal screen. Is that a showstopper? No. Two is Python 3. When I first uh, started using Auto Recon, my Kali version from OSP did not have Python 3 on it. I needed to install Python 3. I would also su suggest that you start playing with the tool at least a day or two before the exam. I did it the night before the exam. 
I ended up using the tool during the exam, and it worked out fine for me. Um, if I was to do it different, I probably would start playing with uh, further in advance, so I had an idea exactly what I was getting uh, out of the tool, uh, knew where some of the weak spots were with the tool. Uh, back in the day, as I said, some of the weak spots were around web enumeration. They started adding some more web enumeration in there. You can now modify your service file to add some additional web enumeration in there. Um, so you can basically add onto this tool as you see fit and modify any of your MMAP scans to add additional flags. Um, the third caveat I would ha say I have with this tool is um, it, it doesn't display the results to your screen. So what I mean by that is while the scan's running, right, you will definitely have output to your screen. So actually, let's let's kick off a scan. Let's go back out to this directory so you can see what you see on your screen. And when do Python 3, order recon, localhost. Okay. So when you run this command, this is the syntax you get, Python 3, order recon, uh, the script, and then your targets here. It's going to run. You're going to see output like this to your screen. Now, I'm used to seeing a list of ports, a list of enumeration as that data is starting to come back in. I like to work on the fly as I see data start coming in. So as I'm running a scan, I see port 80 open, then I know to start my next enumeration, or I know to go to that web port and do this. You don't get that with this. You need to wait until the scan's done and then go to those files, cat the files. You probably can actually run a tail on the files, do a tail dash app and basically have the file parse into your screen as the data comes into it uh, if you want. But that is the only other caveat I have with this. Now that is not a showstopper. None of these things are showstoppers to this application. It's a great application. It automates the process. And one of the other things I love about this is it saves it to text files. While that is one of my love, uh, hates, it's also one of my loves. I don't need to constantly come back and rerun re my scans because I forgot to copy and paste the content out or save it originally out. It automatically saves the data out for me into text files. So I can come in here at a later point, reread these text files to find the data I need, or I can grab through these text files finding the data I want to go uh, do additional uh, enumeration. Now, why is this tool allowed in the OCP? It's allowed in the OCP because it is not exploiting the tools. It's not exploiting the vulnerabilities. All it's doing is automating enumeration. Your standard MMAP commands, your standard what, uh, web commands, your curl commands, your derby commands, everything you normally run yourself, this tool just automates that process. You can actually build this tool yourself using either Python, Shell Script, or any other language you're comfortable with. Uh, only difference is this developer has already done it for you, making your life easier. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, leave your comments below. If you're new to this channel, make sure you like this video. Uh, join the channel. I come out with videos at least once a week on different security topics. Um, let me know what you think about this tool. Have you used this tool in your exam? Was it helpful for you? Do you use it in the real world? Uh, we do use this tool now and then in the real world on some of our assessments. Just because it automates things, I can kick it off and come back to you at a later time and read the data. So with that being said, I'll talk to you all later. Have a good day.